Okay. I know what you guys are all thinking. Just another boring Bed Wars video game. But this, it's it's not, okay? First of all, it's not a video game. It's just... I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Anyway, Hypixel Bed Wars, right? It's a great game. Everybody should know it, hopefully. But if not, I shall explain it to you, you little pre brains And it's gonna be easy. Because you just, you just go to the thing, you click on the thing, and and now you're gonna you're gonna appear in a lobby. Look at that. Simple doozy. You're on your you're on your way to playing Bed Wars for the first time. Now, Bed Wars is very complicated, especially if you don't know what a minigame is, which is well if you don't know what a minigame is, you can't kinda kinda lose it. But what a minigame is, is it's just a small game that's very quick and fast. That's literally it. It's just a super fast game. Typically, it's inside of a game, too. But, yeah. Anyway, so, as you start uh, the wonderful Bed Wars, right? You go backwards. Because you always go backwards to find your little area of goodies to get uh, iron and gold and all kinds of wonderful things, right? Then you go over to this little... Well, he's not always a blacksmith, but this villager guy, right? And you, and you buy the... You you buy the nice thingies from it. Sometimes they're more expensive. Uh, and it's kind of hard to navigate this at first, actually. So uh, good luck to anyone trying to do that. Because, uh, i going to say, first time I tried, I uh, couldn't, couldn't find wool. I'm going to be honest. It's it's really difficult to find it. Aww. And then after that, you'll typically protect your bed. You know, it's it's bed wars. So you're you're having a war over beds. And typically, you protect your bed because it's what lets you respawn. Right? That's that's it. So if you don't care and think you can just survive everything and you don't need a respawn point, I mean, hey, go go ahead, do what you want. You know, you don't have to protect your bed. But I am I am not a PvPer. You see, aha! There's here's the trick about this uh, wonderful video. I will, will not be showing very good PvP skills or anything of that sort. I will be just telling random stories about Bed Wars in general. And my first story is about basically how when I first played, I didn't know anything about it. And I wish I would have known that you go to the item shop and you click on the thing that says wool, you buy wool. You know, that would have been a nice little pro tip to know when I was first starting out. But typically after that, you know, you just, you, you, you can go to like other places. You see how people have built like to emerald and stuff and I, I like to build out to, like, diamonds and things first, because I have actually made a method to Bed Wars that I'm kind of kind of proud of, because it is called the Bunker Method. But I did not make this method alone, no. I had help. I had friends. Friends. They're very, very cool. Very cool friends. All of them cannot PvP, just as me. So, we made the Bunker Method. The Bunker Method. Whoa, what is that? Well, to answer you, my kind friend, the Bunker Method... I ran out of wool. The Bunker Method is where you simply just protect your own... My poor bed replace you simply protect your poor bed right with uh, a few people you know this is this arranges to two to four people by the way if you guys were interested in knowing how many uh, people you needed to do the bunker method it's two to four people you'll have one person protect the bed and then you'll have another person to build under the base un under the base over here in the back and build a bunker all right now as you have these two extra people, if you're playing with four or uh, one, if you're doing three people, those people would build to a diamond generator and get diamonds, obviously. I mean, what what else are they going to do? Just laze around? No, there is no lollygagging here. But you get collect, they would collect diamonds and the other person would protect the bed. And then you have your main person, the person doing all of the work, and that is creating the bunker. Now, the bunker, my friends, is a very delicate uh, operation to create, let me tell you that. It is very difficult, and I shall uh, collect the materials and explain to you how to do it. First of all, if the people above you are not getting gold, make make them get gold. You, you need the stick. The stick is a lifesaver. I will say that right now. Um, but you get all this stuff, you know, and of course you'll need shears, you'll need shears, you'll need shears. And... Once you have collected all of your wonderful, wonderful items, you will simply walk behind, back here, behind your base. And so it's so simple. It's so simple. And then you place down wool. Right? And then you jump down. And then you place down another piece of wool. And let's 
and then you break down this piece of rail, and you literally are just building all the way down here. And I'm going to do this so uh, I don't get caught. And uh, let me see, can I, oh, I can build down here. So I simply will just build down here, and I have myself a little bunker. Now, is this bunker foolproof? No, not at all. Um, people can defeat it uh, rather easily sometimes. Well, that is okay. Because I have bunker. And a bunker is rather good. Because it protects you from many things, actually. Not just one. And you're you're safe. Literally. You, you cannot... People cannot get to you. And you are protected. And then you just stay here forever. But... You, you, you stay for the clock, honestly. I mean, there is no other reason to stay other than the clock. And as you can see, this is not the best map to make a bunker in, but nor is any map, I'm going to be honest. But the bunker method, while long, it is simple, and it actually works most of the time, sometimes. Because not only do you get to be protected in your own little bunker, right? You are also... Oh... I need to break that real quick. So you get protected in your bunker, right? All right. Every everything's good. No one will attack you, and you can just you know look up if you think anybody's near. All right. It's foolproof. You gotta press shift a lot though. That's the only issue. And then you just wait. And the reason why we do this is because again, horrible at PvP. Just horrible, right? Another thing. So sometimes this bunker method doesn't really work, and people find you very, very quickly. Um, that has been an issue recently, that's why uh, it's probably haven't been used very much, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping that I can bring the bunker method back to everyone here. It is a glorious method, and everyone should learn it, to be honest. It is the best method, and the only method Bedwars should be played in. It is so superior to all normal methods. It makes the minigame into a long minigame. And although it is annoying for people who just want to play a normal minigame, it is hilarious to see those people who want to play a normal minigame get so irate and upset. <laughs> it is, it is, you need to try the bunker method out once is basically what I'm saying. All right. And not only have we tried the bunker method, there have been many other stories of different methods. For example, the Pikachu method. While it does not let you win any game whatsoever, it is great because you team with other people. Which I, no, I don't promote crotch teaming. You, you didn't hear anything. You didn't hear anything. Nothing was said. I do not promote cross teaming. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you cross team, right? And, uh, or if you're yellow, you don't have to worry about that. But if you're not yellow, you cross team with yellow after destroying their bet, right? This is, this is real. I did this once, okay? And it was actually during a stream with one of my streamer friends. And they were so mad with me because they cross team with yellow. Oh, they found me. Hey. Hi there, dude. Hi. Hi. Hi, I'm just gonna... <laughs> You don't see me. See the bunker method is so superior. They can't they can't get to you. They can't see you. See? They can't get to me. I am superior. Anyway, but not all so not only did I just cross team and totally just uh remove my teammates, which one of them was streaming, I uh <laughs> I built a Pikachu. And it is it is so great to build Pikachus in Dread Wars. I I'll tell you that. It is hilarious. You make a new friend with Yellow Team. Right? Oh. Oh. Ah! No hurt. No hurt. Oh, that's actually effective. No. Um, but you cross team. And then, oh. You think you can defeat me? Oh, ha ha They're really... They're really trying. Ah, ah! ah, I was so close. See, that's what happens normally with bunkers. So you know the ending of bunkers. And then now you know the Pikachu method, which is you just build a Pikachu and cross team with yellow. And it is, it's great. You make a new friend. And, you know, if you don't know how to build a Pikachu, uh, sh uh, you're out of luck, you know? 